Welcome back to the channel, and I hope you all are having a great day. So today we're going to talk about uh, Andrew Yang and his cryptocurrency universal basic income plan. So, um, first I I just want to say that um, you know a lot of you who watched the channel back in the day, especially during the uh, the coverage of the election. Um, you know, there was, there was quite a bit of uh, activity on our channel, specifically centered around Andrew Yang, Universal Basic Income. We were one of the first channels to really talk about Andrew Yang. Uh, I think one of the first channels to really make the, the big connection between Andrew Yang and Universal Basic Income. And we have been speaking about Universal Basic Income actually even before we knew who Andrew Yang was. but. I think having that um, that background in cryptocurrency uh, with universal basic income, uh, it, it was it was just so much easy for us to uh, kind of get on the the Yang Gang train. So, cryptocurrency, and, th and here's a very interesting uh, thing: cryptocurrency was always a big part of the universal basic income. Uh, uh, idea and platform and even when Andrew Yang was uh, running for president and on the campaign trail Andrew Yang uh, talked about blockchain technology cryptocurrencies uh, in the future and, and, and where they fit in um, uh, you know quite a bit actually so he this isn't something totally new or something that Andrew Yang was out of touch with now, um, where, where it gets, uh, I think, confusing to some people, especially like one of the latest videos um, released by the Majority Report, um, where, they, where the title is Andrew Yang Hits uh, New Low with Cryptocurrency UBI Plan, uh, was that cryptocurrency is one of these uh, newest frontiers in technology blockchain technology this is all uh pretty much new uh, you know to a lot of world and there is a, a a lot of lack of education on how they work what they do what they're for and so uh what kind of gets pushed to the or over the years has got pushed into the media a lot was a lot of the uh activities that went on with cryptocurrencies whether they were nefarious or whether it was based on some type of uh scheme or ponzi scheme or pyramid scheme or scam uh a lot of people start to get familiar with cryptocurrencies based on the worst of the news uh even today you know um even though bitcoin has established itself quite a bit in the institution uh, the institutions, the banking areas, um, you know, um, that they've been traded on major exchanges and futures contracts and so on and so forth. Um, you know, there are still to a lot of the mainstream uh, uh, people out there, uh, cryptocurrency still to them feels scammy and uh, problematic. And a lot of this is just having to do with the unknown and, and lack of education about cryptocurrency. That's to say, when people don't understand something, uh, it's more easily for fear to be cultivated in that than, um, you know, a uh, getting the, the, the uh, education on it and understanding of it. It's a lot, you know, easier to fear uh, that type of thing in those scenarios. And so I think that's what happened a great deal with cryptocurrency um, and that narrative surrounding cryptocurrency and you know and that is that you know people didn't understand it and so they tend to think the worst of it but anyway fast forward to Andrew Yang being out of the political space for now um, did pretty well in the presidential uh, campaign and his New York campaign but you know this would have been Andrew's really first round as a politician. And uh, my thoughts are universal basic income is one of those things ahead of its time. 
And this concept takes time to grow in the minds of people. And a lot of people who don't understand the economy, don't understand certain technology, have a hard time wrapping their head around a concept like UBI where you can actually get you know money and you're not working or doing anything and anybody and everybody gets it right you know that takes a certain amount of education that the way that this was uh, the, the world was introduced to this uh, the way that our elections run and the, the amount of information the limited amount of information that could be conveyed through them limits a great deal uh, how well this could be introduced to the world. And so those are the reasons why I think that this just didn't catch on um, for a lot of people when it, when this is probably one of the most critical times it probably would need to happen and, and would work uh, the best I think it could work. Uh, this would be that time, you know, in the midst of what could be the worst of fears some of our fears global pandemics and viruses and um you know this new technology available to us to solve what many of us believe it will be many future problems but what's happening the some of the latest direction andrews went into is um um saying or making statements like Cryptocurrency is going to be the path toward universal basic income. And he could not be more accurate and on, on point with that. It's what I have been saying about three years now. I was saying it before I even knew who Andrew Yang was. But Andrew has certainly picked up on it. And the world is behind in the message. They think it's Andrew Yang is trying to start some project with Bitcoin. They're thinking about the scams. They're thinking about the wild roller coaster rides with Bitcoin. They're thinking about the speculation. They're, they're thinking about all of the things that I've pleaded with the cryptocurrency space about, you know, a space I'm part of to tone down, where I've pleaded with many of you all who are in cryptocurrency, who watch these videos, where I've pleaded with you all to focus on projects that really are significant and uh, solve problems of the world. And that is not speculation. And if your coin is going to move, that has nothing to do, absolutely nothing to do with advancing mankind, solving problems, sitting up there all day, trying to trade, trying to figure out a way to get money out of somebody's pockets is not helpful to us uh, in any capacity uh, and cryptocurrency has to prove its place now and having worthwhile causes like this and solutions like this uh, is how we get there unfortunately not only has the people out there uh, you know been slow with uh, understanding grasping universal basic income but in the cryptocurrency space uh it's been the same thing you know so it's just on both sides a problem that is due to come people are uh, are due to put the pieces together between cryptocurrency and universal basic income like i've been pleading with people to do for about three years now and andrew yang due to his popularity will uh get it right right he he will bring it to the forefront that is true so let's talk a little bit about what andrew yang's direction is at this point in time and, and what things seem to be pointing to so we know a few things andrew yang at this point in time is saying that blockchain technology cryptocurrencies are the path forward to universal basic income now uh let's make a few things clear the first thing is that that doesn't necessarily mean that andrew yang is going to start some type of cryptocurrency universal basic income 
uh, coin or that he's going to uh, start some type of meme coin like Doge. But what we do know is that Andrew Yang is in the private sector now. I, I think his bid for in politics have, uh, you know, at least for now, uh, you know, and probably up towards 2024 and beyond, uh, up till now they have ceased. Um, and um, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe Andrew's meant to uh, uh, be part of this universal basic income revolution in another way. But what is also a possibility, and a very likely one, I think, is Andrew Yang creating his own cryptocurrency. We know that Andrew is um, um, is no stranger to starting successful businesses, uh, especially re related to uh, like nonprofit organization type things. And a universal basic income um, project, I think, would be along those same lines and incorporated with cryptocurrency and with his um, his popularity and the kind of money Andrew could create in a universal basic income economy with the Yang gang with already millions upon millions of followers could be very, very significant. And I believe that is likely what's going to happen in this environment of the social token. Now, um, Andrew's going to have some problems and uh, what we've learned over the last pushing three years now about a universal basic income cryptocurrency project is they can be somewhat tricky in order to, um, you know, get them to the whole value to be valuable in the perspective, in the minds of people who uh, are uh, participating with them. Because, again, it is very hard to fathom the idea of free money, which isn't really free. And I'm not going to explain in this video why universal basic income isn't quite free like you think it is, but what it, but what it does do is stick in the minds of many people, and it causes them to believe that it's too good to be true. <laughs> oh, I apologize for that. I always forget to turn off my notifications. If it does that again, I'll make sure I do it. But um, what what happens or what happened? Um, you know, with Andrew Yang or what I believe will happen is he may go this route of creating what will be quite a successful cryptocurrency. It will help the universal basic income space a lot. More universal basic income projects will pop up after that. And I believe what will happen in cryptocurrency is there will actually end up being a, um, um, you know, basically this uh, uh, this kind of new golden age of cryptocurrency where everybody's doing universal basic income projects. And I and I think that that's going to be so significant because I believe that's what's going to eventually mass adopt people to cryptocurrency. Now, I have to say this, the experience of Bitcoin MYK, the understanding of how to incorporate social media into the value structure of uh, universal basic income and cryptocurrency. I believe that this is invaluable data research and information that we've compiled over the last few years. And we are quite become quite efficient at this and how to do it. And because of that, uh, what's going to happen, I think, is Bitcoin MYK is not only the best cryptocurrency um, uh, universal basic income project out there. But um, it is also one of the most uh, uh, well-structured you know, egalitarian-like models out there. The technology, I think, is better than most cryptocurrency universal basic income projects in that it has this type of automated curation system where as you log in for the various things that you would do on normal social media sites, you're getting all this cryptocurrency for, and even if you do nothing, even if you log in, you just get the cryptocurrency, you still get cryptocurrency, which is obviously part of the universal basic income idea. And um, Bitcoin MYK is, and I'm not just being biased here. I, I mean, you could do your own research. We've, we've taken uh, polls already on this. Just about most people we encounter in the space 
that are interested in participating in universal basic income in the cryptocurrency space uh, firmly suggest and agree um, that Bitcoin MYK universal basic income is probably the best out there. It's the most user friendly. The transactions to send uh, the cryptocurrency is free, which many aren't. Uh, the, the ones that are uh, pushed on Ethereum are very expensive with the fees. They're very inefficient. They're a complete disaster. And Bitcoin MYK is the total opposite of that. You know, so anybody coming to universal basic income to the cryptocurrency space they have to come to Bitcoin MYK and you might as well come too because Bitcoin MYK is going to be the best at this. That's that's just how it's going to go. Uh, Andrew Yang, I love to work with him. I love to assist him. Even if he did start his own project and we were separate, I would give him uh, all the knowledge I know about it in cryptocurrency. Uh, all those strategies that we've done because we really want to see all universal basic income projects succeed it would also just be wonderful to have them sitting on our board and, and i think we could do a lot of tremendous things together but i am very excited about uh, what andrew said and, and i do think with his influence he can really make a great go at this and pull many other deserving universal basic income projects up um, that I believe are going to go up along with the success of uh, what Andrew's going to do. With, I'm just very glad that the recognition of cryptocurrency and universal basic income is now come together on a much more influential scale and large scale. Uh, and, and I definitely want to see some, uh, some, some more uh, conversation about that and, and, and more uh, promotion about that. But that's all I want to say in this video. Don't forget to join Bitcoin MYK Universal Basic Income. It's free money and it's your money, right? And that's how it was meant to be. Uh, imagine uh, a, a almost trillion dollar, that's not a mistake, uh, almost trillion dollar social network like what you're getting with Facebook. But imagine getting it in cryptocurrency and projects like Bitcoin and YK. What were you control the value? Part of that value is yours. Just for being a participant, you could be like a version of Mark Zuckerberg, uh, you know, or somebody at the Facebook company, uh, in a sense, just by participating, because that's how value works. That's how it's created. And that's all I want to say in this video. Make sure you join today. The link will be in the description. And next time, uh, as always, you'll take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be kind to each other. Remember, capitalism should be human-centered. And it certainly shouldn't start at zero. Take care.